Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of the VSDC tutorial on how to make a video for YouTube my style. This is how I do most if not all of my videos for YouTube and it's kind of explaining a system, VSDC, which doesn't have a lot of documentation. So, in the last episode I showed you how to split your audio tracks in your recording software, OBS, and how to import a video and kind of set it up to begin the actual editing process. So, today we begin that editing process. This is a 30 minute video, roughly. And you can see over here, your object creation time is at zero, which means that it's at the very beginning of your, uh, of your timeline. Drawing duration is 31 minutes, 50 seconds, at 0.15 so it is about 32 minutes long and there's a whole bunch of options over here which we will get to eventually so the first thing that you're going to want to do at least for me is I always give about five to ten seconds went from when I hit record to when I first start talking that mean that way uh, if anything weird is going on with the microphone or with my recording it'll all kind of sort itself out within that first 10 seconds. So, I want to go into cutting and splitting, which opens this. Again, that's over here. You've got your, you click on your video, because there's nothing else here, but you click on the item you want to do the cutting and splitting on. You go down, see cutting and splitting right here, click on it, and this dialog box, well, this wizard, I guess, opens up. From here, you can play the video. <clears throat> Clear. So, yeah. I have begun the recording, but I'm going to give it a few seconds to kind of cycle through. And you can hear how that's very quiet. That's because this is before I do any actually actual audio editing to the video, but that's fine. Again, I'm going to let it keep going. All right. Give it a couple of seconds until I get to the point where I Hello, know. Hello, everyone. That hello everyone, which is my standard opening, is what I want to hear. So I'll back it up to, and you can see your position down here, I will back it up to exactly 60 seconds. Give it a second to get there. I should mention these are millisecond controls, so this jumps it back by a set number of milliseconds. Looks like about 20 at a time. And I will back it up until I am at roughly 16 seconds as I said before and then this is just a personal preference but I go one two actual full seconds back and then add a marker this means that it gives me two seconds from when I start talking in the video to have my fade in for both my video and audio this will cut the entire thing Inside of this video, as I said last time, there are two audio tracks. One from my microphone, which is what you're hearing now, and one from the game, which is what I'm going to show you in just a second. So now I've added a marker at about 13 seconds, about 14 seconds, and you can see that over here. From here, you can delete this marker, whichever marker is selected. You can add a marker by clicking the Add button, and so on. Now, I just so happen to know, because I looked earlier, that this video is well I should start over because this video is 30 minutes long and I like to keep my videos at about 15 minutes give or take I want to split this video in half so I'll edit one half for this video and then edit the other half on my own I know because I looked earlier that my first cut needs to be at 16 minutes and 30 seconds so I will go to roughly 16 minutes and you can see down here where I am. This would probably be fine but I like to give myself a little leeway. Uh, I'm running the video back by a couple of milliseconds to kind of clean up this area here and now I will go forward by about 30 seconds so I will just click 30 times. There we go, and that should jump me to 16 minutes, 30 seconds. And you can see it's jumping little piece by piece. 20, and 30. 
There we go. And I add another marker. Now, when I click Apply Changes, it will make those two cuts. It will ask me, split the file using the, say, the set of markers? Yes. Uh, remove the source object? Yes. And I don't want them in a sprite. So, sprites we'll get to as well, don't worry. So now what's happened is, this was the first cut I made between, uh, what was it, 16 seconds, 13 seconds, and the rest of the video, and then the rest of the first video, and the second video. I only want the first video, so I click here, and hit delete, and I click here, and hit delete. Now, this video is the part I want to work on, and as you can see, the object creation time is 14 seconds, which is roughly where I cut it. So, we will reduce that to zero, and there we go. You'll also notice, and I will go back and put that back at 14 for just a second, you'll notice that the screen here, the workspace, is black. That's because there's no video where the cursor is. If I move it up a little bit, there's the video. Move it back a little bit, no video. You can also click and drag back to put it there as well. This is more accurate, just so you know. Now, we're going to begin the actual audio processing. To do that, right-click on the video, convert it to sprite. This is a personal choice. You don't have to do this, but I like to keep it to, to do it this way because it keeps it a little bit more organized. So you take your sprite, and you can see it's in here now. Click on Sprite 1 over here. This will tell you which object you're in. And here's your video. As I said earlier, inside of this video are two audio layers. So what I want to do is break those audio layers apart. Over here in your right-hand sidebar, there's Split, Video, and Audio. Select your video. Scroll down split to video and audio. Now we have the video track on its own and the audio track on its own. I want to go here and click on the audio track, come up and copy that audio track, and then paste it in. This and this are both track one, which I know from experience is my microphone. You can also see over here, audio track, track one, audio volume, zero. Exactly how it was when I recorded. Let's go ahead and select this and change it to audio track 2 which I know is the game audio again from experience and we will preview the video. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Gear360 Plays Sky Wars today with someone that I've not recorded with before. Hello Mr. Puffer. Hello. This is a good friend from uh, Lords of Minecraft. As you can see, now we've got both the audio from the game, or from my computer, I should say, which includes uh, Mr. Puffer's audio and the audio from my voice, from my microphone, I should say. As you can tell, mine is a little bit different than you're used to hearing me, or different than you're hearing me now, and that's because I do a little uh, audio processing. So we will exit out of this preview and go into my voice. Now my voice track is track one. In order to hit the right balance for me, I like to increase my volume by eight and I'm doing this because I know this works. Reduce it to five uh, and we will see in just a second if that's the case. Now, for some reason, and this is probably just personal taste. I, I'm not sure if anyone who's watching these videos would notice. I tend to think that my voice sounds a little bassy in recording. So what I do is I select this, select the, uh, the mic audio track, go into here, and then come up to Editor. Click on Editor, Audio Effects, Filters, and there are a ton of filters in here for you to use. I found that the one that I like to use is High Shelf. So I click on High Shelf and apply it. As you can see, I, since I applied it from cursor position, it filled the entire area of this audio track. So then I will move back out to the main sprite and we'll preview it again. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Gear360 Plays Sky Wars. Today with someone that I've not recorded with before. Hello Mr. Puffer. Hello. Now. 
I'm honestly beginning to think that in this recording, I don't need to add any uh, loss of gain to the video. So I'll move this back to zero and see how it sounds. Since I've already done that, I'll kind of do that off screen before I actually uh, export this. But that's what I would do is you, you, you play with these numbers in order to make sure that they sound right. But now my voice, my, my voice sounds a bit clearer. Uh, certainly a lot louder and I've got both audio tracks I'll come back up here and save to make sure that all of the changes that I've made are saved and we will continue now I want audio from the game both when it's coming in when the video begins and the video ends to be to, to fade in and fade out in order to do that I click on the sound for here click into that sound section Audio effects, amplitude, fade out, fade in. And I will do the same for the video section. Video effects, fade out, fade in. And now we look, check it again. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Gear 360 Plays, Sky Wars, today with someone that I've not recorded with before. Hello, Mr. Puffer. Hello. So, now we have the fade, and on both audio and video. Now, normally I don't add any audio fade to my mic audio, because most of the time I'm very quiet right before I start recording so that it makes the editing process easier. However, I heard a, a fairly loud inhalation from myself. So I'm going to go into audio effects on my voice from the, the mic audio and add a fade in and then go back out and we'll test it again. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Gear 360 Plays Sky Wars. And there we go. No gasp. Now, I do want to make note of something, so I'll go back in here. You see this fade in? You can tell over here a lot about it. So, it fades in linearly. So, just in a straight line from point to point. And it starts at no audio. You can see here. Initial value is minus 100, which means it's dead. And it goes to zero, which is standard. Just no change. It goes from no audio to standard audio. It does that over the drawing duration, which is two seconds. If I wanted to have that last longer, I would have it at, say, five seconds or whatever number I want. And I have in the past changed that to different ways. I just like how the fade looks at about two seconds. And I have it fade audio at the same speed as I have it fade video. And you can see in here, my fade out is at two seconds and my fade in is at two seconds. So we move back out. We already saw it looks fine, but I know something else. If I come back out here, I have more over in this area than I want. So I will watch the video. <laughs> Actually, he's, he, he, I have way too much patience. Like, I think that's one of my main issues is that I have way too much oh, patience. You can't, you can't. If you hadn't noticed, I'm not great at Sky Wars. Go watch one of my other videos, one of my Sky Wars videos, if you want to see just how awful that goes. But we continue. You can't be patient in this, otherwise someone's going to rush you while you don't have any, any items. Yeah. All right, let's get in another one. Now, I want Let's Get In Another One to be the last thing you hear in this episode. So what I'm going to do is say that Let's Get In Another One happens at about, 10 se at about 16 minutes, 10 seconds. Since my fades happen over two seconds, I'm going to go to 16 minutes 12 and make my cut. So I will roughly get it to, and you can see down here where we are, down at the very bottom right under my mouse cursor, you can see position, oops, position 16 minutes 6, 2, 8, 3. So I'm going to back this up using these, these buttons here, back it up by the millisecond to 1606, which we're at now. Again, you can see down here. 
and move it forward one two three four five six seconds to 1612 this is where I would like to make my next cut so I click on sound and I come up here to cutting and splitting select here and it slices here select sound again it slices here I will do the video in just a second but since the sound is a smaller item I'll just do that and click there we go now something you should know is since we're doing this in a sprite the sprite is now longer than the video so what I will do is select video and go to drawing duration double click and copy then I'll step back outside to the main scene select the sprite drawing duration paste and enter now this sprite is the same length as these videos which means that anything I do with the sprite at a later date will be fine so I back it up a couple of seconds Ooh, that's too many seconds uh, let's see about there and we check to see how it looks I'm gonna rush you while you don't have any any items yeah all right let's get in another one exactly what I wanted exactly what I wanted so now we have the video edited down uh, to roughly what I want it to be so I know that at the beginning it fades in nicely yep. and at the end it fades out nicely like I think that's one of my you don't have any any items yeah all right let's get in another one exactly what I wanted it to look like all right I'm going to save again and we're going to come back in the next episode and finish up the video uh, with my end cap. And until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this has been informative. And uh, take care.